Now for the final demo, and we're going to integrate with an application called Workday, which is an HR application. We want our users to be able to log into Workday using their accounts that were created on the Cloud Identity Admin Console. So before we go to the Admin Console and see what we need to do, I need to point out a few points. The first one, which is not mentioned here, I'm not going to go into specifics about this demonstration because I need to have that application enabled for me actually. I need to have an account on that application, which is something I don't. So I'm going to give you the, the general information and the general guidelines on what you need to do to get the integration happen and set up. And then we're going to talk about SSO mostly on this and for the cloud identity, when we talk about the SSO, we mean that we want Google to be the identity provider to other service applications. You know, we talked about SSO previously, and we talked about SSO from the perspective that Google is the service provider and other services or platforms are the identity providers. However, this is going to be reversed with the cloud identity where Google is going to be the identity provider. Now to start working with this integration, we have to download the metadata and the certificate that we're going to get from the admin console. And then we'll go to our application, which is Workday. And from there, we need to configure the Workday to trust Google and to configure it with the proper configuration to work with Google as the identity provider. Then we have to go to the admin console and to the SAML applications and add Workday from there. And then we configure it from the admin console also. And after that, we will be able to test the integration if it's working or not. So let's go to the admin console and let's start with the first step, which is downloading the metadata XML file and the X509 certificate file. Now also before we see the admin console, I just wanted to point out to this link, which is actually the guide or the steps that we will have to follow in order to configure any application, not only Workday, any application on this list to work with cloud identity as the service provider. So we have five steps. Basically the first three steps are where most of the work will be done. So first we have to enable the Workday as the service provider and this has to be done from the Workday application itself. We'll have first to retrieve some information from Google Admin Console, then we'll go to the Workday and set up from there. So clicking on step one, We'll see that we need to go to the admin console and then go to the SSO section and download the information for Google IDP or identity provider. So we'll go to the security and in security, we'll go to single sign on. And in the single sign on section, we see the first section, which is set up SSO with Google identity provider. All you have to do is we download these two files. Then after we download these two files, we go to the Workday application and follow these steps to configure it to work with Google as its identity provider. Then once we do this, we'll have to go back again to the admin console in step two, and we'll have to add the Workday as the SAML app. So we'll go to the admin console again, and this time we'll go to apps, and then SAML apps. In the apps list, of course, you have to add the application. So we'll click the plus button and find the application, which is Workday. And you have to follow these instructions in here. And for the demonstration, I'm just going through these like next, next and all of that if I can do. So I'm going to click next. Now, this interface, we have to go to the next step in the article which is step number three where we have to actually type some information and some urls so i'm going to try to fill some values in here just to show you the next interface and what you need to do next after that so i have typed some url in here and i'm going to click finish and that's it now this warning or note is about if we are using some custom attributes mapping then we have to do some extra steps on the workday application but we are not using this here so we'll click okay and that's it now the service is turned off so we can go to the menu and we can turn it on for everyone or on for specific people in our organization and if you wanted to remove this application we can click the delete button in here and this application will be removed so with this, now any user who wants to use the Workday, he does not need to enter his specific Workday username and password 
that are retrieved from the Workday database itself. He will simply use his username and password that are created on this admin console and he will be able to log in to the Workday application. This is applicable for all of the applications that are supported and even if an application that is not on the list of the pre-integrated apps then you can manually integrate it with the admin console and with the cloud identity in the condition that this application will support the SAML standard and protocols. So next I will show you some links and some information and some resources that will get you more details about Google Cloud Identity. So for now, I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.